This iconic new new vehicle we thought was really going to transform the brand. And one of you wrote, just think, it might actually become cool to own a Kia. You guys chuckle out there. We chuckled a little bit too, but we it has become cool uh, to own a Kia. And it really has been driven by uh, uh, this iconic vehicle here, um, and as well as with some uh, pretty iconic uh, uh, marketing, which uh, when we were looking at uh, how we were going to position the soul and who we were going to go after, we knew we needed to tap into that all-important Gen Y slash millennial uh, consumer. And to do that, there were four key pillars that we were really focusing our marketing and communications efforts around. Uh, one was uh, music, and you've seen that throughout uh, all of the spots, as well as uh, some of the uh, partnerships we've had like with uh, uh, Vans Warped Tour and uh, Conan and, and Spotify. Uh, sports was another all-important uh, communications pillar that uh, we've used uh, to tap into this consumer with uh, our, our NBA partnership, uh, LPGA, uh, FIFA World Cup as well. Uh, of course, uh, pop culture, being in the know, being in the now, uh, connecting with consumers there. Uh, things like uh, our partnership with NBC's The Voice uh, and the Video Music Awards on MTV. And then, of course, uh, being part of their connected life. It's all about technology for the Gen Y uh, consumer, and we've uh, integrated ourselves uh, into to that space. So, uh, as I mentioned, our goal was really to, to connect with people. You saw the, the first four spots uh, a little bit ago. Uh, the, 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 uh, the soul allowed us, again, to uh, take a different approach towards our, our marketing and communications efforts. Uh, many of you over the years have asked, you know, geez, why, why, the, why the hamsters? Why did they come about? And it was really, um, we needed to, to break through the automotive clutter in the marketplace and the automotive traditionally spends billions of dollars a year uh, in, uh, in advertising, and we needed to, to break through that. And, and the hamsters really allowed us to do it. And that really came through in the very first spot where it showed the hamsters on the wheel and then the cool hamsters showing up in, in the cool red sole. Uh, but it also allowed us to, to connect with consumers and invite them into the brand. Uh, again, because as a, as a marketer, I want people to participate in my brand. I want them to just seek me out and, and feel a part of the brand. And we've been able to do that, uh, again, through a lot of different initiatives, a lot revolving around music and sports and connected life and, and, and pop culture, as you can see some of the things here. Uh, and the hamsters uh, have proven actually quite successful. Uh, here's just a, a few things. Uh, it's in our, Number three, three spot was the number third, or the third most viewed automotive car ad ever on YouTube. Uh, we received a number of awards uh, for our spots. Uh, Effies, uh, the, the uh, Hampshires have been inducted into the Advertising Hall of Fame. Um, more than 24.5 million views of all the spots on YouTube and growing every day. So uh, really fun um, uh, way to communicate our cool car. So just stepping back a little bit again, um, who are we targeting and who do we continue to target? Again, that all-important Gen Y consumer, the people mostly single, city dwellers, skewing a little bit male. Uh, they do have uh, day jobs, but at night and on the weekends, they're pursuing their passions, which again are technology, music, gaming, things along those lines. Uh, they have very strong personalities. They're very much, they want to be individualistic, but at the same time, uh, their friends are a very important part of their lives. But uh, we're going to uh, uh, steal a little bit of, uh, from our friends over at Google and YouTube to talk about who the, the, the buyers are of, of the soul. And the buyers are, are not, uh, from a demographic standpoint, we're, um, they're more from a, a psychographic standpoint. It's, uh, it's called Gen C. And again, we're attributing this to uh, Google and YouTube. Uh, they've coined this uh, phrase of Gen C. They're, it's multiple generations. It's a state of mind. It's people who, again, want to be uh, connected. They want to be a part of a community. Uh, they're all about creation, creating content, and creating really cool, fun things. And it's all about curation for them as well. So this is the type of buyer who uh, is, is seeking out the soul. All right, moving on. Um, 
Here's just uh, some illustrations of, of how we've connected with people uh, throughout their lives. We've got uh, a really cool uh, alien green, green lantern Kia Soul that we introduced at SEMA last year. We had the Michelle Wee Soul. We've got the cute, cool uh, hamsters here that have been uh, basically all over. Uh, we have hamster gear, which uh, if you can see here was uh, a little hamster was on uh, was included in a People magazine spread uh, a while ago. So we, we have connected with people in, in all uh, walks of life. From a social media standpoint, the Soul has been by far our most popular vehicle. From a social media standpoint, people are talking about it, taking pictures, connecting all the time. Um, one thing that Worth forgot to mention, he forgot to talk about our new accessories program uh, for the Soul. You'll be seeing this really cool shag carpet steering wheel coming out soon. Um, and by the way, we do not endorse children driving uh, the Soul. Uh, they were, they were, uh, uh, they were stopped. This was just a photo op that somebody took and posted in social media. But that's really again showing how we're connecting with people in all walks of life, and that they're really embracing uh, the brand and what it stands for. So now, uh, how far have we come? Uh, you've seen that uh, from Orth, the vehicle was really totally transformed from what it was um, back in 2009. And so when we approached our marketing communications efforts, we wanted to communicate the same thing. We thought, what a better way than to uh, show that the car is, is more refined and sophisticated, so let's make our hamsters a little more refined and sophisticated as well. So uh, that's how we came up with, uh, with this new concept, which we've extended, again, all over. Started uh, at the New York Auto Show when we introduced the vehicle. Uh, the vehicle then went on tour to uh, over 40 different uh, concert venues as part of our Bands Warped Tour sponsorship. So uh, Gen Y Millennials got to see it uh, firsthand. Um, and then uh, what we just announced uh, this morning is uh, YouTube is going to have uh, the Global uh, YouTube Music Awards. They're going to be presented by Kia. So again, it extends our efforts in the, the musical space. On November 3rd, there's going to be a big event in New York. Uh, and uh, the winners will be announced for the, uh, the Global uh, YouTube Music Awards um, presented by Kia. So it's, it's a great way for the consumers to be able to vote on uh, who the, the hottest acts are in the music industry, who the hottest up and coming acts are as well. So uh, we're really excited about this partnership um, with, uh, with YouTube. Again, it'll extend the global reach. The Soul will be the featured vehicle uh, as part of these music awards. All right.